Hey buddies, Sonuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're really quickly going to teach you a few different ways that you can get Azoth and when that you might want to sort of splash your cash, splash your Azoth and, and use it, waste it uh, for various reasons. Uh, but mainly we're going to be looking at how you can get Azoth. All right, first and foremost, if you are needing to get Azoth on demand quickly, there is Corrupted Portals. Corrupted Portals will get you Azoth for each one that you close. And as far as I'm aware, it is not dependent on the level. So you can uh, very quickly increase your Azoth by just running through the zones that have a lot of the smaller Corrupted Portals. The big ones are going to give you it as well. They give you slightly more as far as I'm aware. However, they take a lot longer to do. So you can probably just go around and solo some of these 25s. Or if you see someone in chat obviously organizing a Zerg to go do Corrupted Portals, great, jump jump in the Zerg, and you will refill your Azoth very, very quickly. In addition to that, the Corrupted Portals also give you a lot of reputation for the particular area, a lot of territory standing uh, experience. So as an example, you know, if your main home is Everfall, you want to rank up Everfall and you need Azoth, do the Corrupted Portals in Everfall. You're going to get Azoth and do your territory standing simultaneously. Another way that you can get Azoth is uh, through Outpost Rush. So an Outpost Rush is a level 60 game mode only, so obviously if you're level 60 you won't be able to utilize this method. Outpost R Rush matches are quite a bit of fun. They last anywhere between 10 minutes if one of the teams is terrible and up to 45 minutes if it somehow goes to the end of the time. Um, but it's it's a lot of fun. You can also get a chest drop from it. You also get a little bit of gold from it. So if you join Outpost Rush uh, you can get a good amount of Azoth. You win or lose, you get Azoth. You obviously get more for winning. Um, but that is a good way of getting Azoth as well, and it's quite fun. Another one is if you are short on Azoth, uh, and you don't need it right this very moment, uh, killing things gives, you know, it has a chance of dropping a little bit of gold, a little bit of Azoth. Um, particularly elite zones are really good for it. So, you know, if you haven't done your elite chest runs for the day, you're, you know, a couple, a, a few hundred Azoth shy of where you want to be. You don't need it right this very moment and you'd like to be efficient, you know, farm something while also getting your Azoth up quickly. Um, look for a, look for a elite chest run uh, group. Any of the elite runs uh, will do just fine. Murkguard, Ambusti. I actually just did a video on how you can solo Ambusti. This is more for the chests, not for the Azoth though, because you're not going to be killing things when you solo it. Uh, if you want to learn how you can solo the elite chest in Embusti and all every single chest, uh, check out my channel for the video there. I'll probably link it in the top corner for you as well if I remember to do so. So to recap, we have our corrupted portals, we have outpost rush, we have the elite zones, and finally you also have wars. So if you are, uh, you know, if there's if there's any wars and invasions coming up, if you have any wars uh, or invasions coming up, uh, you can participate in those and you will get rewards in some Azoth, as well as some money and some other various bits and pieces, a chest, uh, for completing. Whether you fail, whether you get defeated, or you lose, uh, or you win, you'll get some uh, Azoth chest and uh, a bit of rewards for that as well. So these are the primary ways that I go around getting Azoth. Just remember, guys, is if you are capped on Azoth, and uh, you know, you're going to go to a war, an invasion, you're going to go do an elite run, or whatever the case may be, you may as well waste some of that Azoth, and by waste, I mean, you know, craft some gear, craft some tools, craft something to sell. You now use that Azoth before you go out and do these things so that you're not wasting Azoth because you're a cap. And finally, if you really need Azoth in a pinch and you're willing to pay for it, you can buy vials of suspended Azoth here as well in the market. These will give you 50 Azoth per vial, so it's fairly pricey, you know, and in the cheapest I've ever seen it is around 50 gold so far. Um, in fact, it's, I think that was just like a one time, one guy just really wanted to sell. It's usually around 70. So you're going to be paying like 1.5 gold per Azoth there, but that is an option to you as well. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos, consider subscribing. I go live on my Twitch channel every day, except Monday and Friday. Generally it's three till seven on weekdays and one till seven on weekends. And that's UK time. It would be awesome to see some of you guys there. Regardless, hope you, everyone has a great rest of your day. Look after yourselves. Take care.